And we are back with more The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker with me and The Laws 85. When we last left off, uh, we found out that our uh, sister Owl got kidnapped by this big bird, that the same bird that kidnapped the pirate girl. So we hit sure with the pirates and they're taking us to the Forsaken Fortress. Then we launch towards the fortress in a bell. And the dumb pirates make us lose our damn sword. Oh yeah, we have no sword. So um, we, uh, so we're now at the Forsaken Fortress, trying to figure out where our sister is, because apparently this is where the bird resides. So let's hop through the Forsaken Fortress. All right, Link, go. Go on, Link. And uh, the object about the, uh, the object about all of this is, since we don't have a sword right now, it's being as stealthy as he humanly can. That's why we grabbed a barrel and try to. You don't need to be hit by those searchlights. If you get hit by the searchlights, they uh, will find us and they'll throw us into jail. Which is not good. So right now we're just trying to stay away from all the searchlights. So. There's nothing we can really do. I mean, we can try to go grab those rupees, but that's kind of risky right now. There was a bunch of rupees around the, uh, around the courtyard, but that was kind of, that's kind of risky. So we're just going to skip it right now until we can actually get a sword. So we're gonna just going around the Forsaken Fortress, doing a little bit of exploring, see what we can find, and also uh, see what we can find about, about our sister and uh, that stupid bird. So we go into this room right here, and, and uh, there's more barrels, and there's a treasure chest in the corner. So. Let's open up the stretch chest oh, and Link like. Oh, oh, what is it? Oh. And we get the compass. Ding, ding. Now you can see where uh, things are hidden in the dungeon. Press up on the retro pad to view the map and see it for yourself. Alright, let's see where we are. What we got here. Alright. So, Alright, so we got. The, the, notice there's two floors of the Forsaken Fortress interior. We're on the second floor of this one room. Uh, in fact, the only room we've been in, and there's a treasure chest in the other room next to us, adjacent to us. And so, the best thing to do now is to just either exit the room and uh, let's look around some more. Hopefully, our little barrel is not there no more. Boo! Oh, our barrel disappeared. Now you can see how big this particular portrait is. There's that bird up there. Yep. And what we're trying to do is trying to find a safe way up to the searchlight just... Yeah, yeah, the searchlight so we can get rid of them so it'd be easy for us to traverse here. So... Oh, and by the way, he's handling the controls. I'm just doing commentating this episode, so... Yeah, this, is, this is one of uh, LSC 85's favorite Zelda games, so... And if you get a message from... Listen up, Blake! There's a monster running the searchlight up there! If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut down the searchlight. Oh, Earl, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blow and see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you can pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. What do you do? Well, I'll probably do exactly what you just said. Sounds logical to me. <laughs> Sounds pretty logical. <laughs> but it is one of uh, his favorite games, so... Uh, for, the mo for the most part, for, for the... Uh, uh, for the most part, he's going to be controlling the game. I'm going to be doing a lot of commentating and all that kind of stuff. There'll be some parts where I like to take control of it, like his first couple videos here. But for the most part, he's controlling it. But anyway, we found our first little monster with the searchlight. And uh, he make him so drop his weapon. This is not working. That's not working at all, Link! There's, uh, if I remember correctly, there, there it is. Now go over there and just pick up his weapon, and then beat him with it. Oh, Link! Link! You're not supposed to beat him with it, not throw it across to there and completely miss. There we go. Beat him. Beat him senseless. There we go. And it disappears into a puff of smoke, and we get our first spoil of the game. You got a joy pennant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pennants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled filled blossoms. 
So now that should shut down the searchlight. Well, and well, it did. Well, before we begin, well, when we start a confrontation with a creature, it shut off anyway. So, one down, two more to go. Yep, so now we have another searchlight, so now we can go find some more areas for searchlights and stuff. So that's the object of this one, just shut down all the searchlight, make it easier to traverse through this area. You can have, so, even though there's not really much to it, you can actually probably almost consider this the first dungeon of the game. Almost. Yeah, almost. I mean... But it, all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, it's still some puzzle elements. There's some stuff you can still do, all kind of stuff. But it's, more, it's still a lot of tutorials because they still tell you how to do a lot of stuff. But this is basically almost like a quasi-dungeon. Quasi-dungeon. It just gets you used to various elements of the game that you wouldn't expect to be there. Yeah. Remember how, how on, the, on the pirate ship we had to use the ropes to swing across? Yeah. We're going to do that now. Yeah. And there's a treasure chest sitting right there in our path. And Link goes, Oh! Oh! We get a treasure? And we get... The map! <laughs> Green areas are ones you visited. The flashing areas are current location. Uh, tilt your control stick up or down to view other floors. Now we actually have a map. There's really not much to it. We've already explored like half of the dungeon, uh, half of the Forsaken Fortress already. So, uh, yeah. Don't just head on up here is what we got. Okay, so this is where we, if we get caught. If we, if we, yeah, if we get caught and go to jail, that's where we get thrown in at. And hopefully we don't have to go in there once, though. Yeah. Hopefully we won't have to go in there too often so we can. You might want to go in there just to get, you know, pick up rupees. But pick up rupees, and I think also, in one of the rooms, right around there somewhere, I think you can pick up a piece of heart. Yeah. So. Uh, there we go. So there's another little area right here, so let's head on up this ladder. If Link would cooperate with us. A <sighs> little bit of a longer ladder, and at the top of this ladder should be another searchlight. Or, not quite, but. Oh yeah, there is another searchlight. Okay, so we found our second searchlight. If, uh, I think in one of these corners somewhere there's some extra additional weapons. You can go ahead and pick it up and start beating the uh, thing with it while he's controlling the searchlight. Yep, right there. I think it's a strong little guy. That's, I'm not, it looks like a really big pot with a bunch of weapons in it. I mean, oh, we got hit. We got hit. We got hit. Oh, he picked up a weapon. He picked up the weapon before we have a chance to get to it. Link, you Link, idiot! You suck. All right, let's hurry up and get that weapon before he gets to it. And he's running away because he has no weapon. He's a little sissy boy. Okay, now he has a weapon. Whoa! What the heck was that? <laughs> Now we gotta oh, find a way. Now we gotta find a way up again. Shouldn't take us too long though. This is, I don't know what the heck happened there. There had to be some kind of glitch. No, we just real close. Link was real close to the edge. Link was too close to the edge. We just went. Wee! He's like he he parried us with his with his wooden sword, and we decided to go. Wee! And then he's like, hey! And now we go on. We repeat this whole process again. So. Uh, don't you just love repeating stuff? Link, cooperate! Go up the ladder. I know you don't like heights. Okay, maybe you do like heights. Uh, I know that we aren't already throwing you off that watchtower one too many times and nearly have your legs broken, but come on, it can't be that bad. Uh, so the pot's all set back up again. We can pick it up and throw it and grab a weapon and beat the shit out of me before you get a head start on beating the shit out of me before you even get to the. Uh, Chance to, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoa! Okay. Maybe he'll beat the shit out of us first. Now he's in control. Alright. There we go. Let's try this again. He's gonna try to get himself another weapon. Oh! There you go. Yeah. 
There we go. We got him. Throw it up in a puff of smoke, and we get nothing. <laughs> but we but we disabled another one of the searchlights. So the other searchlight is somewhere on the way over there. It's, it's right there, right next to us. Yep. Got that one. We got that one right there. Still left to get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move along now. So let's go see what we can do about this last searchlight, and we need to go find a heart for Link too, whenever we get a chance to. Link will be all right. Link will be all right. Yeah, he's not hurting yet. So, uh, uh, okay, so we're gonna go across this lamp, this light this time. Good job, good job, Link. You cooperated with us for once. That's what we got here. All right, so right here, and it tells us how to. We're, that, we're closer to that stupid bird too. So we got over here, another ramp, and there's a ramp over here. So let's go up this ramp and see. Uh, it looks like it's leading us to that third light, or this way we just originally came. No, no, this is the right way. There's the other light. So we found the third of the three search lights. Got his weapon, and that's his PC to beat the crap out of him. All right, there we go. And it blows into a bunch of smoke, and we still get nothing out of him. But all three searchlights are disabled, so now we should be able to advance further in. So now we can go back in that courthouse, get all that money that we missed. Nice 20 rupees there for each one of those. And then of course the one gold rupees for, the green rupees for one. And there's a heart. Hey, full health again. He says I'm a rich motherfucker. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we got over 100 rupees now. All right. One in a queue. One in a queue. Uh, actually, I can't roll my R's like Sir Ironman Hard Can. I'll have to go rupees. Rupees. Yeah, there you go. I can't roll my R's. I can't. Uh, maybe I'm gonna be able to speak fluent Spanish because I can't roll my R's. Boom. Right All right, that's what we got here. Oh boy. Oh, uh, we got our first case of the Moblin. Uh, in order for us to get past the Moblin, we got to hide from it and hope it doesn't see us. That kind of stuff. Because if he can't, if he if he sees you, he will throw fire at the b barrel, set you on fire, and throw you in jail. Do we have to find a way out of jail and then repeat this whole process again? So, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, the key is is not to move when they're you know. Doing that. Uh, sniffing yeah, around. Yeah, sniffing around or when they're looking right at you, just don't move. Yeah, when they're sniffing around like that or not, all that kind of stuff, just be sure. See, he suspects something, we just don't know what it is. He just don't know what it is. So wait till he's like past you and make sure the guy on the left is walking away, then run through to the other door. Just like that. And it should lead us to the next door. Now we're trying to work our way up. Now we're just, yeah, we're trying to make our way up now. This is the room where they keep the, uh, apparently it's like a shipyard. And, uh, if I remember correctly, I think there's at least one moblin in here. No, Keese. We got Keese and they got nothing to defend ourselves with. So just run for your life. Yeah, we got to say that I knew there was at least one. So basically it's the two moblins again and we basically gotta repeat the process. Or there's just one in here. Yeah, it's just one in here. So basically Oh Lord. Oh shit. Let's run for it! Run for it! This creature's annoying. 
All right, oh boy, so, uh, this room's fun. Yeah, this room's pretty fun. There's a treasure chest right there, but there's a statue when it sees you. It'll start shooting lasers at you, so you gotta be quick. This is what we got in this treasure chest here. Link, move. And we get a yellow rupee. That's ten rupees. Okay, we're a little bit richer again. And trust me, when you get toward later in the game and all kind of stuff, rupees are, not rupees are almost mandatory because you won't be able to beat the game without them. For the simple fact that there's a there's a part of the game you have to have rupees to like advance because it costs like a lot of rupees. Yeah, it costs a couple of thousand. Rupees. It costs like a couple of thousand rupees to do what you need to do. There's a green rupee over there, but I don't think we're gonna worry about a green rupee too much. The, the, the treasure chest on the first floor, I think that what, one treasure chest, I think that's the piece of heart. Yeah. But we're not, we can't really get that until we at least get a sword. Make it, make it a little bit easier on us. So let's go in here, see what we got. That's these outside, we got a box here. You know what? We can't move it. Are you sure we can't move it? Push R to grab. Actually, you might be right. I think we use this as a shortcut. Somewhere. Yeah, you can use this as a shortcut somewhere to get what you need okay, to get. Okay, that's where we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, start. we are heading in the right direction. There's an uh -oh. A. Oh, hello. Tara's got some, uh, somebody got something to say to us. Aha! Uh -huh, I got it, Link! In order to reach the top of the tower where Sith was being held, you have to find a room right below the tower. The path to the tower begins in the rear of that room. You got that? Uh, I guess we do. Yeah, you can use that as a shortcut for something. We just don't know what. I well, can't remember what it there, is. There's a, there was a ladder that... that oh, yeah, all the way. that ladder. There was a ladder over here that we can use to, uh... Use it to... Uh, I, guess we can't, we, I guess we can't move it that way. Okay. Okay, what's the box for? Anyway. Anyway, so in the rear of that room is where the base of the tower is. So now we have to go back and... We're in the right room. We're in the right room. We have to get past this mob and get, go up those stairs to that door. That's where our that's next goal. So we have to get past one moblin in this room. Or no, there's two. There's two moblins. Oh, I thought there was... Yeah, there's two. So we have to get to, uh, around this area to the uh, other side to where that staircase is. Go up that staircase to where that door is. To get to, uh... Where does, let's see where those two moblins are that staircase right there. We have, to get, we have to get to that staircase. This is probably the hardest to get past the moblins with right here because they're like right next to each other. Once he's like got your back towards you creepily, make your way that way, and then we have to kind of sit still because that one right there. You can always tell by the music too. Yeah. They suspect something, but they got nothing. All right. So we got got slip by him very carefully, and once he's got his back turned. We'll, like that, we'll sneak on up. Haha, uh -huh, evil key. Camera action. <laughs> yeah, compared to most of the Zelda games, like Ocarina of Time, all kind of stuff, this one actually got, okay, sometimes in Ocarina of Time you can have like shoddy camera angles. Like, this one's actually got really good, especially with the free free roaming ang camera. camera. Camera angles and camera, camera positions are actually pretty decent in this game. But I mean, don't get me wrong, Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask got decent cameras, but, some, but sometimes it glitches out and you like, wind up in a wall or something like that. I've seen it happen. So, yeah, okay, so we're now up on the, uh, toward the, oh no. I yes, guess we were good. We were close, we were close. He, uh, he, Link, don't push it, man. Don't push it. And he was, that was close. He almost spotted us. He almost spotted us. This is almost bad. That was almost bad. 
Alright, this is probably one of the hardest ones to get past. So we just got... get my sword and I'll smack your ass up. Yeah, well, too bad we don't have a sword right now. And once he's passed, uh, we'll take the, even take the, the quarter heart damage from his spear. Now just make a way up. And now we'll run for it. So now we're going up this ramp around a corner. But should be getting pretty close to the top. Alright, now we're going to introduce to you about Sidelink. Uh, press up against the wall and press A to sidle, and you can sidle across the wall like very tight positions like this. Sidle, sidle. Slide. Slide. And all that kind of stuff. But now, so you can get across this little area right here, and um, you have to repeat the process with a. But this time, this one has a couple of hearts on the ledge. It just kind of slowly makes one. Let me fall off. There's, a, there's like a. Ledge right there. It'll put you back on the yeah. other side. It won't put you on the other side that you're going to. It won't put you on the side that you're going to, but at least it won't let you fly, fall completely down. Yeah. But that, that's where those shortcuts will come in and we can figure out. We'll give those damn shortcuts. So, okay, so we made it here. Let's, let's stop here. Before we. Yeah, I think it was already at 21 minutes. Alright, so we're going to end it here. When we come back, we're going to continue on past this little place right here. Uh, as you can see, our sword's out there in the distance. We're going to grab our sword and see what we can do about rescuing our sister. And, uh, see what, see what, uh, and, uh, getting everything back to normal. So, we'll see y'all in a little while. This is DKS3 and the Crazy Gamer with... The Laws 85. Signing out.